hello welcome to my youtube channel so today we will learn how to install the odo 19 in the system okay so basically currently is a launch the odo 19 version okay so 13 and 14 i guess launched the odo 19 version now today in this video we will learn how to install the odo 19 in the system okay so let's see do not waste too much time okay so first i search the Udo 19 python version so which python version required to run the Udo 19 okay so basically for Udo 19 version python version is required 10 3.10 above python version okay so i'm already installed python version in the system or because i'm uh, installed the before version like Udo 18 and 17 16 already installed in the my system so that's why i already installed in my system okay so i'm using a mac system if you're using a ubuntu so they're same little bit different change the in a command but it may be same most of the command is same okay if you do it a chat gpt and help from the chat gpt chat gpt will help to you how to install the python version 3.10 3.11 and 10 12 okay whatever so let's see uh, how to install so here the python version such a search and you have to go to the right hand search box in the google Kodo 19 download okay when i search this text so here you can see the github click on the github basically right now is the master version install our master version launched in Kodo 19 okay so after the one month or two month maybe a completely launched Udo 19 version okay maybe some uh, currently there may be some bugs or not or they will fix and perfectly launch the Udo 19 to or uh, set up in the system and customer will use the Udo 19 version okay so let's see so I scroll down so here you can see the master version click on the master branch so master branch basically currently right now is the Udo 19 version okay so click here the code icon so here you can see the green button click on the green button code icon and you can clone from the URL okay or you can do it the zip file click on the download zip file and it will be download automatically once you click so I'm already installed I'm already installed now I'm going to push okay once the zip file is installed then go to the your directory and unzip the folder okay once you unzip the folder and go to the pycharm you have to open in the pycharm the folder okay so go to the pycharm and click here version click here there is a button so here you can see open once you click on the open and here there you you can see all the directory in the system and choose the directory of the python uh, odo 19 okay once you open the odo 19 directory in the pycharm so here is the all the add-ons and documentation of the Udo and the libraries whatever is the packages in the Udo 19 version so it will be coming okay so here is the requirement file so here in the requirement file in the you can see all the libraries which is required to run the Udo 19 version okay so once you uh, open in the pycharm so you have to create a virtual environment for the Udo 19 version virtual environment basically is a different python for the Udo 19 version whatever the library required library version required to run the Udo 19 so we are creating the py uh, python virtual environment okay for the particular uh, Udo version if you want to install the Udo 18 if you want to install the Udo 17 16 so every Udo version use the different different library python like uh, different different library version so that's why we are creating a virtual environment okay so here you can see the bottom inside right right hand side corner no interpreter right now is selected click on the interpreter and add the new interpreter and go to the local and here you can see but uh, automatically is coming in the virtual environment uh, basically pycharm give uh, the default fun functionality to create the virtual, virtual environment automatically if 
you do not want to create the python virtual environment automatically from the here by the pycharm you can create the by command okay from the cmd currently by because pycharm is already given and all the code running right in the pycharm so that's why i'm using the pycharm okay so in the udo 19 directory i'm going to create a one which virtual environment evn okay and my python version what will be the python version is 3.12 now click on the okay once i click on okay now my python uh, virtual environment is creating automatically and uh, indexing is starting okay so let's once the uh, python virtual environment installed successfully after that we have to create one configuration file for the run udo okay or you can run the udo 19 version without the configuration file okay uh, we are using a standard practice to use, run the udo okay so that's why i'm creating a one custom uh, configuration file for run the udo so i'm already creating custom.conf that file is created inside the udo 19 version okay inside the udo 19 version here is the udo 19 version so whatever the here is so like mm, let me remove that part okay so my uh, admin is a administrator password when you going to take a backup from the server or when you re restoring the database or you if you want to delete the database from the front end that time admin password will need okay after that uh, db host is a local host and db port my um, postgres version port okay then the postgres user name password and whatever the um, if any if you want to give a particular database name then only you can see the uh, particular database on the server okay so i am writing here the currently false so that time i'm seeing all the databases okay if i am use the filter db now click on the 18 so if any v18 related were database created in the system so that database will be load on the front end okay i i have to choose only and run after that the add-ons one that part is the requirement required for run the uh, udo because we have to give whatever module will be so whatever the libraries okay so that modules path will be give here okay let's first path is a base add-ons click on the copy and give after that second path go to the uh, udo inside the order is here is the add-ons folder okay then click on copy path and that's it only two paths we have to give here after that the xml rpc port this is the local host port number you can change or by default it is run the odo 8069 okay after that the limit memory soft or this basically uh, we have to uh, increase the time of the server loading okay cpu loading okay if like you have a lot of data and system is a timeout okay that error is coming so we are giving the uh, some time increasing okay here okay we will discuss briefly in the details uh, in the next video when we create a database large database in the system or restore okay after that uh, okay that is part is the configuration file before the configuration file we have to run the requirement file okay basically install the all the libraries so go to the terminals so here you can see the terminal in the pycharm so pycharm by default giving a terminal in the system in the oh, oh, in in this that is screen basically okay do not go to the any other screen okay everything is given here so that's why we are using a pycharm this is a flexible uh, according to me uh, not other one i don't know but is a flexible so when i click on the uh, terminal so my um, virtual environment is automatically activated sometime that uh, virtual environment is not activated then you have to activate the virtual environment so let's uh, deactivate deactivate okay and deactivate the virtual environment okay so uh, if i want to activate the uh, activate activate go to the env enp bin activate then that command need to run and my 
virtual environment will activate sorry so okay okay uh, i think maybe forget the command source nv bin activate yeah that command need to use okay so um, my virtual environment is activated now uh, i have to install all the libraries in the python virtual environment if requirement file is run successfully then your udo is set up 90 percent 95 percent okay only you have to create the database and do it whatever you want to do do it a practice do it anything okay so let's install the all the requirement file pip3 install python r requirement file that command need to run click on enter let's see if error is coming or not i hope no error will come if error is coming maybe a little bit difficult for me to run the udo okay but here is nothing is error is coming requirement file is successfully installed in the system okay so nothing is error is coming okay so every library version is installed is successfully now it's a fine it's a good for me it's, it's a good for our okay next once is requirement file is successfully installed all the library version after that go to the here and click on the current file sorry click on the edit configuration add the uh, run configuration so whatever the um run the, run the file name custom okay okay udo 8 udo 90 after that the udo bin directory path so my version udo 19 here is installed so here give the udo bin till path okay so here i am choosing a udo bin file in the udo 19 okay after that write here the hyphen c after that custom dot con file so here i am give the custom dot configuration file name after that where i am working so i am working in the udo 19 okay so i am working here after that click on ok and that's it ok now once more times check the configuration files uh, so ok all over is ok now click on run let's see anything and error is coming or not ok currently is running uh, port number is that 8069 port number is not changed okay xml rpc okay we will change after currently okay 8069 now go to the google and here right here the local host and write the port slash web database manager okay so basically we are not uh, we are uh, basically have not created database any database in the system for the udo 19 version because i'm currently installing front of you okay click on enter okay once i click on enter so here coming the window to create the database because i am not created any database for the udo 19 version okay let's see here the admin at the gate one two three so here pass the password whatever the password that password for creating the database okay uh, whatever what is the my database name v19 custom okay uh, login id is admin password is admin if you want to give the phone number you can do or other thing otherwise no so here is the demo if i click here the demo data so when i create the database so some dummy data is created like a sales order purchase order customer vendor and products so uh, some data is coming by default for your practice okay and understanding so let's create one database or you can restore the database from here okay let's i'm going to create let's see any error is coming or not
so uh, my database is successfully created okay so my database is successfully created v19 custom and if any anything module is not installed so we have to install the module in the Udo 19 version let's install the sales module so that's we can check the sales data and sales module okay so this is the Udo 19 community version i'm not uh, install the uh, Udo enterprise version basically Udo enterprise 19 version basically we have to pass, give the pass enterprise add-ons in the custom configuration file in the add-ons path okay with comma which is i saw it you so we are waiting to install the Udo 19 okay so Udo 19 is self module installed so here you can see the dummy data of the Udo 19 because we are click on the 19 okay so let's scroll down so Uro 19 is installed successfully so in this video we are installed the Uro 19 version in the system if you have any confusion if you get any error to install the Uro 19 so write the comment in the video section okay so thank you if you have any doubt please let me know okay so this is the process simple thank you